122 magnification on an 8.2. Uh, it's just tremendous. Anytime you can put a lens where you can get closer and wider from the same spot that you're used to having a set shot. Crispness through the whole throw. I mean, even at the telephoto end, you don't have to zoom back out so that the image is clear. Shooting telephoto, if you're zoomed all the way in, as you know, you can almost see your heartbeat if you're holding the camera tightly and you're not locked down. Image stabilization, as much as many people reject the notion that they don't like the way it uh, has to catch up with you when you start panning and everything, it's a necessity. This generation of image stabilization, it's intuitive. It knows when to kick in and it kind of releases slowly. You don't experience that that lag when you're panning and the, and the catch up at the end of your pan. At the venue, they were asking me to do a nice, long, slow zoom out, and I get to the point where I think that, okay, this is where I'm gonna be at my widest point, and you start feathering, and I'm slowing down, and I'm slowing down, and it's keep going wider, and keep keeps going wider, and it just seemed like it never stopped getting wider. It was very surprising how wide I could get. When I was playing with the bokeh effect, I love the fact that you can actually go out of focus on a wide shot. And it doesn't breathe the picture, it just goes out of focus. You can set the speed, you can set the distance, how far out of focus you want it to go, and it's a repeatable effect. Well, you can uh, free up an ME on your switcher because the effect is in the camera. It's a sharp focus when you come back out of focus. You don't have to worry about where your focus is, so when you start zooming in, you're not going to have to fish around to find where you are in your focus plane. One of the things about uh, trying to get as close to the subject as you can, they're always asking you to throw in the two times, get closer, get closer. You've got to take your hand off the zoom, throw that in, and then you have to remember to take it out again when you're finished with that shot. Now I don't have to worry about throwing it back into the single time extender when I go back to zooming out. It's, it's just one step that you're avoiding. Jump to 4K, I think it's been rather, I was, I was intimidated. I thought that it was gonna be as difficult as going from SD to HD, and I did not experience an appreciable jump in difficulty. I mean, yes, your focal depth of field is very shallow at 4K at 1,000 millimeters. It makes it a lot easier to find your focus when you have the range at your command that this gives you. Uh, to borrow the line from the movie, as good as it gets, it makes me want to be a better cameraman. <laughs>